Hello guys, hope you're well. Today we're back with another App Icon 3D design and this time we're going to take a look at uh, the Instagram App Icon and um, so this is the reference I have got prepared already and my shapes are ready as well. Let me just have a look. All right, so, so the idea is to create the platform. This one, the outside area here, base one or base. This is going to be gloss. And then inside base two is going to be this uh, colorful platform. And then after that, we're going to create this uh, logo. And the idea is to have this as a neon kind of glowing neon effect. So that's, that's, that's why I created this kind of uh, uh, shape here. The shape is very simple. Let me just show you. It's basically just, uh, just a, like, you know, I just use this path and then I apply the 28 point white uh, stroke and the alignment is in center and, and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's do the 3D object. So all you have to do, let's start with the base, go to 3D. 3D extrusion create here uh, just 0.1 because I don't want to go with zero but 0.1 is fine and go here to bevel front and back and um, here let's just select this contour and change the angle to 30 degree and the width um, about 4 there we go yeah this is good moving on to base 2 do the same create uh, depth going to be 0.1 and I don't apply any bevel going on to the logo uh, 3d extrusion we're creating this part here again just the minimal 0.1 have to go to the bevel here change to front and back and we don't use the bevel actually we're going to inflate this so the way to do it change the angle to 90 degree and the strength to 20 percent yeah this is good and we'll do the same with the rest of the logo here okay so going back point one Mm -hmm. front and back inflate 90 strength 20 great now we go into the last part and we do the same point one and front and back 90 degree angle and 20 percent strength there we go so it's all done let's just select everything okay and go to 3d and merge 3d layers okay once that's done okay on the 3d panel here let's just select all the objects yeah and then go to the coordinates move the ground align them just uh, zoom out a little bit move it in the middle okay and all I'm going to do is just select the logo and just bring it a bit oops <laughs> bring it a bit forward that's all yeah just like this it's all good once that's done we're ready with the 3d object export uh, wavefront obg okay I already created one but I'm just gonna overwrite it replace there we go and we are ready with Photoshop let's move on to dimension and create a new project file change the canvas size to 250 and 1440 there we go fit to canvas there we go and let's start with adding a plane and just increase the size something nice and big there we go let's just zoom out change the color to a light blue I think yeah let me just 
steal this don't know what's this there we go 189 fda if you want to use the same here we are okay let's change the color here and the roughness let's go up to i don't know 50 percent should be fine done next let's just import our 3d model okay and here we are open okay and let's just rotate it 90 degrees there we go move to ground and i go to camera view top view and there we go that's good and then from here we can just kind of uh, move it down a tiny bit there we go something like that and then change the angle to something like this should be fine yeah and then just move it up a tiny bit just like this and i don't want to uh, leave it on the ground actually i just move it above a little bit so something like this okay let's just save this camera there we go and uh, change the environment light i like uh, this one here studio light pillars and then just just change the rotation to something like this yeah something like this strength ah uh, yeah 100 percent is it's okay all right once that's done let's just start adding material to our 3d object so base number one that's going to be the gloss actually i didn't use gloss because i use gloss first but i found this olive oil working better because it just have got a little bit of warmth to it so i just prefer that but it's up to you guys if you want to use uh, gloss you can go for that too you can call it also the gloss but i just found this better okay base two yeah one thing i did actually forgot to show you in photoshop i have got a file prepared this is basically uh just uh, just a gradient i used and uh, i have got yellow on one side and purple on another red in the middle just trying to basically recreate this uh, gradient here and then i save this out as a as a png so here now we can apply that onto our uh, base so i have to go to instrument again da, 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 da. image here we are all right and here let's just go and use fill okay good so that's great let's see how it looks okay looking all right good now let's just start to add the glow material to our logo there we go actually the logo needs to be moved a tiny bit yes 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 the dot here let's just move it to its place somewhere here like that perfect you can select the rest of the logo and just press i and uh, you can just uh, select the material you want to copy okay there we go let's have a look at it now yes yes it's looking great but it's too strong let's just change uh, the strength to the glow I was using only 100% I think that works fine and the cool thing is that once you apply uh, once you update the one uh, part of the logo because the rest was eye dropped uh, it will adjust the rest as well so if you go to the outside you don't have to actually do it but I just want to show you you see it's adjusted to 100% so it's going to be really cool and nice all right there we go okay I think actually we are ready to to export this okay actually render it let's go to render and I'm just gonna use number two here render and this process takes about 15 minutes so I'm just going to cut the video and uh, I'm back once the render is done okay right, so we're back to Photoshop the render just finished and um, okay let's do some work on it so the first thing I like to try is just to create a new layer and um, color pick uh, 
uh, this side here uh, something more saturated like something like this that's great and then just kind of apply a couple of brush strokes here have this side as well selected something nice bright yellow too yeah and then let's go with the red as well there we go and just here like this change the blend mode to color dodge yeah and what I like to do is double click and remove this checkbox from here and then just play with the opacity until you find something nice I like to bring some details back on this side here so I, th I think yeah something subtle like 20% should be better yeah all right let's see with and without uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I think with this it works I mean at least I like it uh, it's up to you guys if you want to use it or not all right so then let's select all make a merged copy which we convert to smart object and let's apply some camera raw filter all right so what we're going to do is just add a little bit of texture and clarity also increase the haze vibrance can go up something around just around 30 and lastly let's go to the effects add a bit of green effect like four or six should work fine a bit more maybe eight eight is good yeah and then vignette like 25 28 all right so there we go you can see before after and uh, I think it works well this camera row filter and uh, this is the final design I hope you like it if you do please hit the like so this video can reach more people that helps really uh, helps the channel out a lot and uh, subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to comment below if you have any other app icon design you like to see in the future all right thank you guys bye